Good evening, Matt Wordsworth with ABC News. The Queensland Government has agreed to a $30 million payout to settle a class action over the 2004 Palm Island riots. For Indigenous activist Lex Watton, who was convicted of inciting the riots, it marks the end of a painful journey. But the police union says the decision is a slap in the face for officers who are just doing their job. They're the pictures synonymous with the Palm Island riots. Activist Lex Watton's anger spilling over after autopsy results revealed 36-year-old Indigenous man Cameron Dumaji died of internal injuries while in police custody in 2004. After a lengthy class action, today a chance for the community to finally move on. It's hard to conceive of another case anywhere in the world where there's been a substantial settlement to the population of a uh, community based upon racial discrimination by the government and police. Mediation last year has led to this announcement by the Queensland Government. It will pay $30 million to the 447 people affected. The least amount of money uh, being paid to a recipient is 5000 and the highest is 80000 depending upon the facts and circumstances that apply to their individual cases. The state government has also agreed to offer a formal apology. We determined that the best thing to do was to move on, um, to actually close this chapter for Palm Island and for Queensland and move on in good faith and in partnership with the people of Palm Island. For Lex Watton, the settlement marks the end of a painful chapter. It did take a toll on me. There were some episodes, you know, well, physical and stuff like that, and I'm probably still suffering in some sense from it all now. Two public meetings will be held in Townsville and Palm Island over the next few weeks to explain the developments. The federal court will then sit here in June to decide whether to approve the submission. Sally Rafferty, ABC News, Townsville.